This is a food for thought. Golden nuggets from heaven. to be rich. No, because the Bible says I pray that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prosper. That's what the Word says. people in the Bible that was rich. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph. Just to name a few. No, it don't hurt to be rich, but don't let rich get you. Amen? What does it gain to gain this whole world and lose your soul, my friend? That don't mean a woe is me kind of a message. See, God gives you gifts. <laughs> bless you and to bless others. Not just to bless you, but to bless others. Can you be rich and still be a Christian? Can you still be rich and have it all? That is a question. knows what you can handle, what you can't handle. What would you do with it? Would it go into the eye, the self thing? Or would it go, not my will, but your will, Lord? Yeah, I even get into that play so much more. people a lot of times they need to save their pocketbook they need to save their bank because if God would take it all away today would you still serve him is your heart on money only or is your heart on souls being set free delivered change healed about the father's business must be about the father's business not your own be about the father's business the one who sits on the throne be about the father's business Get paid, put my tithes and offerings in. Reminds me of an evangelist going out traveling, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's how I look at my money. Feeding the homeless. Taking care of the poor. Man. 
look at money in a different way when you're a Christian, would you? Don't have a woe with me because I have nothing. You're rich in Christ Jesus, my friend. In His love, in His grace, in His mercy. Some of the fruits we don't want, like long suffering, meekness, kindness, goodness. When people do you wrong, you just want to fight back at them, don't you? That's where the love, the grace, and mercy of Jesus Christ comes into being. We're always not going to walk around smiles on our face. Like the pastor says, fuzzy bunnies and rainbows all the time. It's where his mercy and his grace comes in. I want to thank him for his mercy. Thank him for his grace. Thank you for his mercy. Thank you for his grace. I can't live without his mercy. Can't live without his grace. Can't live without his mercy. Can't live without his grace. I need you, Lord.
something that God gave me again on a Sunday. Not feeling too good, feeling better, don't get me wrong. I'm not speaking anything negative against me. But I'm not going to let sickness stop me from sharing the gospel to you guys. I'm going to preach the gospel and hair lip every devil and southern Illinois. Because I'm going to tell the truth to you all. I'm going to tell the truth to you all. I'm going to tell the truth to you all. Because the truth will set you free. One and all. Go with Jesus, will you?